Dive deep into the shadowy realms of the unknown with us, where reality blurs with the mysterious. Where the line between the living and the supernatural becomes indistinct. Welcome to our countdown of the top 10 paranormal games that will freak you out. These are not your ordinary board games or innocent sleepover challenges. No, these games invite you to converse with spirits. Confront unknown entities, and perhaps even glimpse into the veiled future. But a word of caution, once you step into this chilling playground, there's no guarantee what might follow you back to reality. The tales and legends surrounding these games have been whispered for generations, each recounting eerie encounters and spine-chilling consequences. So, are you ready to push the boundaries of the unknown? To challenge what you believe? If so, dim the lights, gather your courage, and let's venture together into this realm of forbidden games. But remember, once the rules are set and the game begins, there's no turning back. Little pig. <laughs> Prepare for a journey that will challenge your nerves and perhaps even your very soul. Let the games begin, if you dare. Number 10, Three Kings. This enigmatic game first captured attention when Fableforge shared its mysterious rules on the No Sleep subreddit. The premise? Venturing into another realm. To embark on this eerie journey, choose a spacious room, ideally a basement, devoid of any light. Gather some essential items, candles to expansive mirrors, three chairs, and a cherished memento from your youth. Once everything's set, keep the basement door ajar, retire to your room, and set an alarm for precisely 3.30 a.m. After a short rest, if you awaken at the designated time and your basement setup remains undisturbed, you're primed to begin. Ensuring you're positioned on your designated throne by 3.33 a.m. is crucial, holding your lit candle. Guard its flame from the fan's gusts, positioning your body as a shield. During this endeavor, it's paramount to gaze only forward, never casting glances at the mirrors or the candle's flame. Soon, an eerie sensation will envelop you. All whispers fill the room. Many recount it akin to a deep dialogue with one's inner self, or perhaps an otherworldly being mimicking your essence. This ethereal conversation may revolve around past transgressions or lingering regrets. Some argue it's akin to a vivid dream, a psychological trick of the mind, while others are convinced of its paranormal roots. Ultimately, the truth of the experience hinges on one's personal beliefs and perceptions. Number 9. Closet Game the purpose of the closet game is more sinister than just invoking a spirit or phantom, it's about beckoning a demon. To play, find a closet where complete darkness prevails. Once inside, hold an unlit matchstick and intone the words, show me the light or leave me in darkness. As you wait, should you catch even the faintest hint of a whisper, hasten to light the match. There's an ominous warning that accompanies this game. If you dawdle in lighting the match post hearing the whisper or, out of rising curiosity, turn around to peek at the source, you might be seized and dragged into a never-ending abyss of darkness. However, if you manage to sidestep these pitfalls, carefully open the closet door, clutching your illuminated match, and step out at a deliberate pace. But remember, this game comes with lasting consequences. Post this ritual, whenever you glance into your closet, ensure it's always bathed in light, for it's now believed to be an eternal abode for the summoned demon. Number 8. Bloody Mary Bloody Mary, more than just a name, is intertwined with the fabric of lore, said to be the restless spirit of a bitter witch. The ritual to evoke her is as eerie as the legend itself. Participants stand in front of a mirror, their faces illuminated solely by the flickering light of a candle. With a deep breath, they intone, Bloody Mary, thrice, their voices echoing the chilling chant. Thereafter, they stand, hearts pounding, waiting for the spine-chilling version of a blood-soaked woman to materialize in the reflection. Many who've dared to perform this ritual have recounted their tales, some with a tone of palpable disappointment, having experienced nothing out of the ordinary, while others, with a shiver and hushed tones, speak of the terror they felt when confronted by Bloody Mary's malevolent presence. Some legends speak of her unleashing her anger upon the summoner in various forms, from strangulation to curses, and in the most sinister of tales, the theft of the summoner's very soul. The legacy of Bloody Mary is vast and deeply embedded in popular culture. Numerous narratives, whether whispered among friends during sleepovers or brought to life on the silver screen, continue to fuel the enigma surrounding this eerie entity. Number 7. Elevator to Another World 
Emerging from Korean lore, this eerie game claims to ferry players to an alternate universe through an elevator. For the game, one must locate a building with a minimum of 10 stories and an operational elevator. Crucially, you must ride alone. Entering the elevator, players must press the buttons in a distinct 426-2105 order. During the sequence, on the fifth floor, an enigmatic woman boards the lift. It's imperative to neither acknowledge her presence nor answer her inquiries. After pressing the button for the first floor, the elevator, defying logic, ascends to the tenth floor instead. Once there, you're free to explore this unfamiliar realm. But remember, the woman might question you, yet always ignore her. When you decide to retreat, re-enter the same elevator and repeat the button sequence. However, a word of caution. If you lose consciousness during this venture, you might awake in what seems like your house. Still, observe closely. It might not be the home to recall. Number 6. The Hooded Man The Hooded Man ritual, reminiscent of the elevator game, promises a journey into an alternate dimension. Before starting, a cleansing process, like burning sage and sprinkling salt at your main entrance, is crucial. By nightfall, locate a room with a phone. Comprehensive steps are available online, but essentially, you'll be summoning a cab. When successful, a black taxi waits outside. Leave your place, sit in the back of this unoccupied cab, ensure you're locked in, and drift to sleep. If you awaken exactly at 3.30 a.m. and feel drowsy once more, waking again, you'll be on a strange highway with the hooded man driving. Occasionally, other entities might join you in the cab. However, never engage or acknowledge them. To conclude this eerie journey, whisper into the hooded man's ear, I have reached my destination. After falling asleep, waking up in your abode, use the phone to dial a specific number, expressing gratitude for the journey. Conclude by performing another cleansing. While extending your ride might be tempting, most advise against it, due to the progressively surreal nature of the world, with the ultimate risk being trapped there indefinitely. Number 5. One Man Hide and Seek The One Man Hide and Seek, or Itori Kakarenbo, from its Japanese roots, is a spooky game that pits players against a doll possessed by spirits. Here's how it goes. Acquire a stuffed doll, empty its original stuffing, and fill it with rice and a snippet of your own fingernail. The doll's open seam is then stitched with red thread, which is further wrapped around its entirety. Name this doll and place it in a water-filled bathtub. Then find a hiding spot. With all lights turned off and the TV on, take a saltwater sip without swallowing. After a moment, Leave the hideout and search for the doll, which likely won't be in the tub any longer. When you locate the doll, drench it in salt water, let it dry, and then set it ablaze, discarding what's left. During this eerie game, monitor the TV static, as it might hint at unexpected, sinister presences nearby. Number 4. Dry Bones Dry Bones is a chilling game closely related to Hitori Kakarembo. However, instead of hiding from a possessed doll, you're up against a demon. The allure of this game? The promise that, if you win, your most desired wish will be granted. For this eerie game, you'll require a bathroom featuring a mirror, a solitary candle, and matches. The ritual commences precisely at 12.01 a.m., ensuring you're alone and your abode is securely sealed, all doors and windows shut tight. Once inside the bathroom, gaze intently at your reflection and listen intently. Any slight sound is a warning that the demon is already lurking nearby, prompting an immediate exit. If silence reigns, ponder deeply on your heart's desire. Your prize if you win, but ensure it brings harm to none. Ignite the candle using the match, letting it extinguish naturally. As you recline on the floor, solemnly utter, I am aware of your presence and I welcome you into my home. Come now. Proceed to the most spacious room in your home. A distinct moan signals the onset of the chilling hide and seek. Successfully evading the demon until 3 a.m. means victory. Concluding the game, announce, Thank you for playing, but please leave now. You are no longer welcome. The demon's departure is marked by a discernible groan. By dawn, your prize awaits at your doorstep. Tempting as the rewards might be, one must weigh them against the dire consequences of defeat. Number 3. Daruma-san Daruma-san, also known as the Bath Game, traces its eerie roots to Japan. The ritual beckons a ghostly presence to tail you throughout the day, relentlessly trying to ensnare you. To beckon this phantom, venture into your bathroom at dusk. Disrobe, fill the bath, and douse the lights. Once inside, face the faucet, 
shut your eyes, and, as you lather your hair, repeatedly chant, Darumasan fell down. You'll visualize a grim image, a Japanese woman adjacent to a bathtub, who then stumbles, her eyes meeting a corroded tap. Persist with the chant, and as an unseen aura engulfs you, very aloud, why did you fall in the bathtub? Without lingering for a response, maintain your eyes sealed, cautiously exit, and secure the bathroom door, leaving the water undisturbed till morning. The subsequent day heralds the actual game. A spectral shadow will linger closely behind. Your mission is to elude her grasp. To vanquish her, cast a glance over your right shoulder, exclaiming, Kida, while simulating a karate chop. Failure to properly execute this, or evading her by midnight, invites her into your dreamscape. Number 2. Charlotte's Web While many know Charlotte's Web as a classic children's tale, you are aware of the ghostly game that shares its name. This two-player game beckons the spirit of Charlotte Webster, a young girl from the 1400s whose mother faced execution accused of witchcraft. For this game, select a dimly lit room equipped with a sizable mirror. Along with a companion, arm yourself with a flashlight and a child-friendly toy. Position two chairs facing the mirror with a table behind, ensuring the toy's reflection is discernible. As you both settle in, confirm the only luminance is from your flashlights. Together, voice the chant, we want to play Charlotte's Web. Watch attentively as Charlotte's figure seeks the toy within the mirror. Engage her with questions or light conversation. Upon conclusion, jointly bid her farewell by saying, goodbye Charlotte. Though many claim Charlotte's demeanor is pleasant if appeased with a toy of her liking, antagonizing her is ill-advised. According to tales, witnessing an irate Charlotte is a bone-chilling sight one would rather avoid. Number 1. Midnight Game The midnight game reigns as the most famed ritual among paranormal enthusiasts, feeling undaunted by other supernatural challenges. This perilous game could be your ultimate test. Rooted in ancient pagan customs, it's believed to be a retribution for those who defy the faith. While detailed guidelines for the game are readily available online, the core objective is to invoke the Midnight Man and navigate your home, evading his grasp. The challenge persists until 3.33 am, after which, if uncaught, you emerge victorious. Though the rules are straightforward, the sheer intensity of the experience can be overwhelming. While it's possible to engage in this ritual with friends for collective courage, it's crucial to note the stark warnings from past players. Many recount haunting hallucinations or long-lasting psychological traumas, urging others to think twice before participating.